So how much fun was your first game with the Noles? Oh, it was great. I had fun. It was very exciting. I had a lot of family there. So it was just exciting just to be with a new team and have success like we did. Did you did it play out the way you envisioned? Oh, uh, yes, it did. Um, all the way since I got here, um, just leading up to that game, I knew that was going to be a big game for us. And um, I just always envisioned us just being on top and coming out of that game, and that's what happened. Y'all faced a little adversity in the first half, weren't clicking quite as well as you did in the second half. Kind of what was the key to, you, I think you scored, scored on six of your last seven drives. Kind of what was the uh, key to getting the offense on, on rhythm, in rhythm? Uh, it's just adversity, and that's life. That's just on the field or off the field, that's just life. You know, having adversity, so when that starts, that just shows who you are as a team. And, um, I feel like we show our identity um, on that adversity when it struck and we came back in that second half strong. You guys went to that, that counter concept with you as one of the lead blockers a lot in the second half. I guess what worked so well about that specific play? Um, it just the, uh, the scheme. Um, we locked in. We, we knew we knew what they was going to give us and um, we ran that play and um, it worked very well for us. When, when you're in offense, you're just able to kind of keep doing something similar over and over again, I guess. It does that feel good, I would imagine? Oh, uh, yeah, it do. Um, just knowing you, when you can go to a plate and you know you're going to have success with it, um, it's always great when you can have one of those plays in the back pocket. Tell me, uh, what, what hit you put on that dude? Uh, how much have you heard about that? How much have you heard? Well, it's been going crazy. Um, I just That's just me as a player. Um, a lot of people ask me why, why I did that or, you know what I'm saying? That's just, that's just how I play. I play very physical, and um, I just had to make sure they felt Seems like throughout fall camp you were asked, you know, a lot of questions, you know, getting adjusted, whether it was Corbell or other players, you know, just getting adjusted to the offense and the pace of things. You know, when game time came up, you know, did you feel like you applied a lot of, you know, what you had learned throughout camp and what your offense had came? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I can say my blocking. Um, everybody knows what I can do with a ball in my hand, and that showed. But um, I felt uh, very comfortable with blocking in that game. Um, that, that's just something that, that I want to be better at um, as a player. So uh, I, feel, I feel comfortable with that blocking. Did you, Coach Norvell said he felt like the offense maybe imposed their will a little bit in the second half. Did you feel like, could you feel that during the game? Right. Like I say, uh, adversity struck um, in that first half. We wasn't really um, doing what we needed to do. Um, LSU did nothing to stop us. We were stopping our own stuff. So once we went in at halftime, it changed. So we came out very explosive, like the type of offense we is. This was your first game playing with Jordan Travis. I guess now you're in a huddle with him. You got to see him interact and how he improves throughout the course of the game. I guess what are your thoughts now versus like when you first got to meet him? Oh, he's very level-headed. Um, he never gets too high. He never gets too low. He's always um, he's always down. But besides you, uh, he's trying to make you better throughout the game. And, um, like I say, he's very level-headed. I know you guys expected to be explosive on offense, but you hadn't faced another team yet. After going against a, you know, what's going to be a good football team by the end of the year, a good defense probably. Uh, how, what do you think the ceiling is for this offense? Uh, I feel like the ceiling is elite for us. We use that word a lot around here, elite. Um, so I feel like we, we're a very elite offense. And, um, we, we showed glimpses of that um, Sunday, and um, we, just, we got more to come, so be ready. What, what is it that you mentioned glimpses? Coach Norvell mentioned it multiple times after the game. I guess what's the next step for you guys to make uh, it The next step is just, just just trying to find a way to make it complete. Uh, like I say, we had adversity in the first half, so just trying to put a complete game together. The, on, on the touchdown catch, did you know you were going to be able to get to the end zone, or how did it look when it was unfolding? Uh, no, I knew I, was, knew I was getting to the end zone. I knew once I, uh, I caught the ball and turned, turned my speed on, I knew I was getting to the end zone. Nobody was going to catch me. I guess you mentioned facing adversity about the game stuff like that. When you got to the fourth quarter and things started opening up the things, I guess, for lack of a better word, did it become a little bit more fun in the game or just how did things start feeling, you know, once uh, you got past the adversity? I won't really use the word fun because that just makes it seem like we weren't really, you know what I'm saying, doing what we needed to do, but it just made the game like easier. We like like it just slowed the game down once we got in the rhythm after in that second half. And um once we came came and got in rhythm, I mean it just everything was clicking for us. It made us very explosive. Last year, of course, they beat LSU. Some of the players, I think later, said they felt like they got maybe too high off that line. Do you feel like you guys are going to take this more in stride? Uh, like I said about Jordan, um, he's very level-headed. So I feel like that about this entire team. Uh, everybody knows uh, what we did. Um, that game is in the past. So it doesn't matter no more. Uh, like, who cares about that game? Now? It's over with, so it's on to the next game. How good is Keon Cole? He's a dog. That's all I got to say. I don't really got to say too much. He's a dog.